how do I become a product manager? Save this video if that is something you are contemplating because this is the product manager starter pack. This starter pack goes through almost everything you need in order to get into the world of product management. And this is going to be particularly useful if you have little to no experience, whether that's little to no experience in your actual career because you are in the early stages of it, or maybe you are transitioning from a totally different industry and you don't have any kind of tech background. I'm going to be going through a few different categories of resources that you can use to upskill yourself for free. There are also some paid offerings that you can invest into if you prefer to have more structured and official learning, but it's definitely not a requirement. Before we get into the resources, I want to be a little bit cheesy. Now that you've decided the what, which is you want to get into product management, this starter pack is going to show you a little bit of the how. I want you to go and spend some time to figure out your why. This is important because product management can be a difficult, demanding complex role, not just from the product and technology perspective, but from the people perspective. You're going to have days where you make a hundred small decisions. You're going to have other days where you have to make three really big decisions. You're going to have days where 10 different people are coming to you with 10 different asks. You're going to have to make trade-offs constantly. So if you know your why, you can draw on that on those days and in those situations where things are just a little bit difficult. The first set of resources I want to share are newsletters, blogs, podcasts, and videos. There are so many learnings, insights, and knowledge that is being documented and shared by experienced product professionals. Something I repeatedly say is how I learned how to be a good PM. And that is through learning from other people. Seeing how others tackle product problems is one of the best ways alongside just trying to do it yourself. But to that point, some of the newsletters I recommend, Lenny's newsletter, hands down number one, he also has a podcast. And they get into a lot of the tactical day-to-day -day stuff that you need to tackle as a PM. Another blog I recommend is Technically. It's not a product-focused blog, but it does a great job at explaining technology terms in layman's language. And it's really important for you as a PM to understand that. This is gonna be really great for you if you don't have any kind of tech background. Next, we have the world of YouTube. And yes, I am showcasing my own YouTube channel here. One of my top videos is what a product manager actually does, this video right here. I also have a lot of tactical videos and templates that I share. I also document a lot of vlogs and days in my life of what it's like day to day working in product. And there are so many other channels like these ones that I recommend you checking out. And lastly, on the blog front, if you haven't heard of medium.com, go jump on it now and subscribe to some of their product focused publications. Product Coalition is a great one, but they also have a lot of blogs written by big tech companies where they share how they manage product. Next, we have books. And believe it or not, half of these are free. These are just a handful of my favorite books, but starting with the top two, these are free. These are eBooks written by Intercom. I highly recommend their book on product management and their book on their startup and business building journey. Another free eBook is written by Product School, which is called The Product Book. Now, while this is not strictly a product book, I think a great way to learn about building product and business is by learning from successful tech companies. And one of my favorites is the Netflix story. So check out this book called That Will Never Work by the founder of Netflix. And these ones in the middle are probably what I would call classics. The Lean Startup is immensely popular and a great way to understand how the world of agile product development works and where it came from. And Hooked and Inspired are a little bit more around how you can build products that really incentivize and engage users to keep coming back to your products. Next, we are talking about courses, certifications, and more structured qualifications. It's actually my least favorite category of resources to share, but I think it's important because different people are gonna have different learning styles and for some of you structured learning is going to be the best but what you might notice is that I'm not actually recommending any certifications or courses here that are specific to product management itself rather I'm sharing with you other skills that you can learn and build in a structured way that are going to complement your product manager skills but if you are interested in more of a product management foundations or basics, do check out Product School because they have some certifications that cover that topic. 
Now, if you don't have a technology background, I recommend going to Google Cloud Skills Boost and doing their foundations or their 101 computing course. This is just a very easy and low effort way to start getting familiar with the world of technology. And while you're there, you may as well do the free AI course as well. Now, if you're interested in upskilling more specifically as a product manager, then check out this platform called Skip Level. They specifically help product managers to become more technical. This is a paid offering, so I don't think this is somewhere you have to start, but it's something you can explore as you get further into your learning. Another paid product is this one down here called Reforge. They cover topics and courses that are delivered by real industry professionals from real tech companies. You can get a few free courses from them. They will cover product management foundations or product strategy, product growth, and really that whole spectrum of product development. If you're working at a company and they're willing to pay for this membership, that might actually be the best route to take in this case. When you do get to the point of interviewing for product roles, check out this platform called Try Exponent. It's only like $13 a month and it is the best place to practice for product interviews. They also have a YouTube channel which has free mock interviews, so you don't even have to pay for this. The next category of resources is templates and tools, and this is going to be really important so that you have an easy way of delivering on the specific tasks that a PM has to do. So think of things like product requirements templates, product roadmap templates, some of the best places to get these templates are Product School, my own website where I have product requirements, product roadmap, and even pitch deck templates with complimentary videos on how to use them. And lastly, I recommend Product Toolkit, which is paid, but it's very affordable and you get lifetime access to all of the templates offered on here. The reason I've included templates is because you have enough decisions to make about your product and thinking about the content that you need to document, let's say in your requirements doc or in your product strategy or in your product roadmap. All you need to do is pick a format to document those in. You don't have to start from scratch and there is no right or wrong way to do so. And as you get more comfortable with doing this, you can adapt some of the templates that you are using. But having a practical example of how someone else does it is the one thing I found really, really useful. Now, the last category of resources is product conferences and product community. Events like this are a great way to learn from and hear from other product professionals. These are some of the most common and well-known product conferences, but there are so many more. And the best part about these is that they have a lot of their talks published for free on YouTube. If you don't know anyone in your real life or your real network who works in product, I think listening to some of the talks that people have given is going to be the next closest thing that you can get. And as I mentioned before, one of the best ways to learn product, apart from actually just getting experience and being hands-on, is by understanding how other people have tackled certain product challenges. And lastly, if you're not familiar with meetup.com, it's just a place to find product groups in different cities that are coming together. Again, it's just a really good way to meet other people working in product management if you don't already know people who are. This is also a great way to get a direct insight into how other companies are approaching building product, which isn't always something that's readily available. Now, after you've exhausted all of those resources, the next thing you want to do is start to develop your product thinking and your product mindset. I like to think of product management as a muscle that you have to build because it is something that you will get better at over time. So what I want you to do is to start forming opinions about the products that you are already using or that you like. This could be as simple as taking an app that you use daily, like TikTok, maybe YouTube, or maybe Spotify. Start thinking about what you like about these apps and what you don't like about them. And for the things that you don't like, think of specific ways in which you would improve those areas of the app. Don't just think about the features that you want to add, but also think about the why behind those. So why would it be a good user experience? Why would it be beneficial to the business? So building that business acumen and the business thinking alongside your product thinking is just as important. Start doing this with all of the products that you use on a regular basis. And if you wanted to take that to the next level, you could even start blogging about it. And if you are lacking real product experience when you're applying for your first product role, you can absolutely link your articles on your CV. It shows that you are in that product thinking mindset. 
And that is it for the product management starter pack. Leave any questions and comments.